Buying a set of pre-made plug wires can make life a little easier, but adding things like aftermarket intakes, valve covers, and headers can make those cookie cutter plug wires fit, well, less than desired. With some patience and just a little bit of time, you can make some custom plug wires that actually fit. Not only will it clean up your engine bay, you'll be able to route plug wires well away from high heat sources, and with proper routing, you'll even be able to reduce RF interference. Follow along, and I'll show you the most popular terminal designs and how to properly crimp each one. Before purchasing a set of plug wires, be sure to verify the type of distributor ends and plug boots that you'll need for your setup. We have plenty of options to choose from, with offerings from Excel, Holly, Mallory, and MSD. Distributor cap boots are available in the traditional socket style or HEI design, and we also have options for the LS style coils. Spark plug boot ends can be found in straight, 90, and hemi style, as well as a multi-angle boot that can be bent up to 45 degrees. And if you're tired of those meltdowns from your headers, you might want to check out our ceramic boots. They can withstand up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Most plug wire terminals fall into one of two groups, the dual crimp design or the traditional full back crimp design. The dual crimp design may take just a little longer since you have to do two crimps per terminal instead of just one, but it's the preferred way of crimping for high performance applications. Since the core wire isn't subjected to the drastic 180 degree bend and it's less likely to arc through the spark plug boot when used with high output ignitions. To assemble the traditional full back style terminals, apply some dielectric grease to the end of the wire that you plan to install the terminal on and slide the boot onto the wire a few inches. Dielectric grease is a non-conductive silicone based grease that protects electrical connections from corrosion, moisture, and dirt. Or if you like me and prefer to install the boot after the terminal has been crimped, you can skip this step for now. Next, you'll need to remove about three quarters of an inch of the insulation from the wire. You can do this using one of our handy plug wire crimping tools. Or if you're using a vice style crimping tool, slide the wire through the hole until it's flush with the end of the tool. Now use a razor blade and place it against the stripping guide and rotate the wire 360 degrees. Then pull the wire to remove the insulation and expose the conductor wire. For the best crimping results, bend both ends of the crimping tabs found on the terminal inward at about a 90 degree angle. Now fold the conductor wire back 180 degrees and lay it against the insulation. Slide the terminal over the wire, making sure that the conductor wire remains folded back and that the insulation protrudes past the crimping tabs about an eighth of an inch. Now using your plug wire tool, crimp the tabs onto the insulation and pull the plug boot into position. Or if you haven't installed the boot yet, Apply some dielectric grease to the terminal and wire and slide the boot onto the wire and you're done. If you're using the vice style crimping tool, place the assembled wire and terminal into the tool, then position the other half of the tool on top of the wire. Next, position the tool in a vise, making sure the tool is properly positioned and is flush with the jaws of the vise. Tighten the vise until the mating pieces of the tool butt up, then release. To assemble a dual crimp plug wire, first apply some dielectric grease and slide the boot onto the wire. Or you can wait till the crimping process is completed and then install the boot. Cut the insulation just past the tool, exposing about a quarter of an inch of the conductor wire. To install the terminal, align the conductor wire with the crimp area of the terminal and crimp tightly. Use your plug wire pliers to then crimp the tabs on the insulating sleeve. Then pull your boot into place, or if you haven't installed the boot yet, apply some dielectric grease to the terminal and wire and slide the boot onto the wire and you're done. Don't forget to protect your hard work and investment from high heat and abrasion by adding some wire separators, fiberglass protective sleeves, or even some high temp silicone sleeves from names like Mr. Gasket, MSD, Mallory, and Excel. And to make ignition teardowns easier, use some of our clip-on or heat shrink numbers. They help you keep track of which plug wire goes to what cylinder. Avoid meltdowns and do it right the first time with a little help from your friends here at Holly. To find a set of plug wires that's right for you, or to learn more about any of our other great ignition components, visit us at holly.com.